the intraday process to look at all the breakouts and all the setups uh, is what this video is about, which uh, basically integrates all the different scans. Uh, if you're looking at just the scans independently, you don't get an idea as to how do they work in a tandem. So basically at the start of the day, I came in with uh, watch list anticipation watch list and these were the stocks which were there on the watch list anticipation watch list. So for these, basically the work was done pre-market and uh, I have positions in couple of these like and I have positions in Penumbral and uh, Landsend and also I had position in BXC which I closed and Dine Equity also. Uh, so this is basically pre-market or like and based on last night's work. Some of these didn't trigger, some of them are like and basically faded. Uh, but these are the stocks which are on the thing. But once that happens, once like in you know, the first 15, 20 minutes is when this gets um, this trigger and they are entered. Now for rest of the day or during the day, I run scans which are like 4% breakout scan, which I've shared the uh, multiple times the scans for dollar breakout and low threshold breakout. So what I will do is like see this currently you have 56 stocks so copy all of these into a working watch list which is a bullish working watch list. Similarly I will copy all the bullish dollar breakout into a working watch list which is a bullish working watch list and also the uh, low threshold bullish breakout scan which I shared a uh, couple of weeks ago into one bullish working watch list. So these are the three things which I'm going to, uh, from which I find buy ideas. Besides that I use trade ideas and I made a video last week showing you how to use trade ideas and I'm planning to do a couple of more videos on trade ideas. So now you have 407 stocks. So from this is where I get buy ideas like today I bought ITGR in the morning when it showed up yeah, in this combination of these three scans. So the, let's look at these like and then once you have this, it's like just a job of 10 minutes going through each one of them to see which setup meets the definition of three lynch and three lynch starts for stock which is not up three days in a row, linear, uh, no 4% breakdown during the uh, consolidation, orderly consolidation and closing near the high. So three lynch is the, really the key in terms of finding the good setup. Now, once you go through this, uh, you will find setups, obviously like we started with uh, the one which you have like and which are not up much. So once we go down, you will keep finding solution setups. And then if the setups look good, so now this setup is not closing near the high, but it's a good setup here because like this is the up leg orderly consolidation there's no 4% breakdown during that period breaking out so let's uh, put that on a list and it's up only 2.64 this is the advantages of using the low threshold breakout scan because it can help you find the stocks like that um, and I go through this fairly quickly like uh, it doesn't take me more than 10 minutes to go through 400 stocks so like travel port which is also a uh, uh, anticipation setup also it's breaking out that's a low threshold breakout like uh, basically so that's another one which goes uh, now this stock is up three days in a row so that's not something which uh, yeah, I would be interested in And running this process early in the morning is more useful because if you can find stocks very early and if you enter them, then intraday they can go on to make uh, bigger moves like sell which was yesterday uh, was on the scans quite early and then it went on to make a move after that. So any stock which is breaking out on volume or on dollar breakout and on low threshold uh, in TI-65 universe is here. Now obviously this stock is up three days in a row. So I 
and if you do a combination of these you will not miss any good setup now this is like and you know, this had a breakout here and high volume like pull back because of the market this may be kind of a setup not the best of the setup but like uh, now this is not a bad setup see it's like an orderly pull back this stock is up trend intensity is up closing near the high as of now so that's not a bad one You know this kind of stocks they are breaking out like you can also find what is happening like a lot of railroad tracks are breaking out but the volume is not very high but still they are breaking out today and which you have seen a lot of the stocks which are beaten down are starting to break out. So my conditions for finding a good setup so I said it multiple times is 3 inch which is like stock should be uh, not be up 3 days in a row should not uh, should be linear uh, no 4 percent breakdown during the consolidation um, and orderly consolidation and closing near the high now this stock is already was like part of anticipation so uh, obviously it was a buy on anticipation setup not as a breakout it's a thinly traded stock so now this is a nice setup like orderly here this was also in the anticipation setup I think Coupa software hasn't really like these two high volumes on this consolidation makes me a little bit skeptical as you can see the oil and gas stocks have had very good follow through this is a nice setup biotechnology stock Now this is a something which I saw, saw much earlier so my entry is much better on this one but again it's a dollar breakout and also low threshold breakout because it has uh, so And as you can see almost all uh, railroad stocks are breaking out today or at least attracting some buy interest not best of the setup but like they are attracting buy interest okay so we have gone through 340 or 350 stocks and it didn't take more than like an eight minutes to do that and in between i was demonstrating this otherwise like and i go much faster so Philips Van Hussein. See even another railroad. So you can find sector trends also if you use this kind of a scanning methodology. This is like see this is choppy that's why like they are tired like and otherwise okay MasterCard GWS Goldman Sachs again a lot of banks today also in the scan after JP Morgan earnings but they are not based of the setup they don't meet our setup definition so I'm just showing some of the trends which you can see in terms of sectors but that's not what I would spend time on uh, Costco wholesale BA Win, Amazon Google BlackRock so after going through this what you find is you have this RCM see it didn't close near the high so that's the negative travel port this is a low threshold breakout now it's up only 1.41 gives you a low risk entry if it works uh, the, the very good risk reward it is going to offer you stax uh, it's like because this is too choppy um, 
I wouldn't take something like that. Uh, I mean, dialysis. This looks okay. Uh, stock is a little bit uh, volume is low, but closing near the high. Land send. This was definitely a good setup, but it was part of anticipation setup. Penumbra. Yeah, it's possible. And then you have Myovant, which is uh, uh, biotechnology stocks near the high. So that's a nice setup. This probably is a little bit choppy, but like and you know, that still can work. An ITGR, but which I'm already in ITGR volume is in also coming in in ITGR. So that's how you can find buy ideas. Now we can copy all these uh, to momentum burst, and once you are eight, you can always decide which one to take and which is not to take. Now same thing I would do for bearish. So I would take all the bearish stocks and put it into a bearish working watch list and uh, and low threshold breakout on the bearish side and all these scans I shared multiple times so you should not have any problem or you can always grow through the learning area and you'll find uh, scans for this. Now here you have 184 stocks. Now most of these like in a very low price one uh, actually are not worth your spending time so if you want to like in a save time you can like directly go to something which is down around 20 cents or plus kind of a thing and look at it uh, for a good setup or the other way is you can like in a so like say something like this ESR3 it's a rate rates don't move very fast so that's the thing uh, you'll see a lot of rates in the uh, scans today because sector trends can also determine what is happening. So let's look at if we can find any good short candidate which is uh, ALKS. Uh, see another rate, rate. That's another rate. Now something like this bed bath and beyond when it gaps down it's like an a typically they tend to have a counter trend bounce like this see you will find here again uh, here again this is a very typical behavior of uh, things which gap down so uh, it's tricky you have to wait for a good setup on short side and not directly short a gap down So this is a nice setup like see this is also an anticipation bearish setup like if you are doing anticipation bearish you should have found this setup uh, i had it in my watch list for bearish setup but i didn't really like any get into that because i was i had open positions and i had like any other positions on the anticipation bullish side which i wanted to get into zoomy rays top months so a lot of reads in the scans today l brand again like see this is a typical thing about shots like you, know, you will have a counter trend move and then when it feels that it makes a good uh, thing here like you know, there was immediate follow through but again a counter trend bounce and it falls uh, fails so so now uh, scan dates Lots of rates basically. See something like this, like uh, intraday, it was a big move, but like I was not sure that. Every tree is down, but like I'm not really keen on something like that. Only 259,000 shares. 
I like something which is million dollar plus kind of thing. So not something, nothing attracts my attention from this. So I have these buy ideas uh, out of date, like I already had like an eight. Uh, from the momentum burst. So yeah, ITGR, which I already entered uh, this, I see it's only 58,000 shares. So that's the thing why I not really entered it. Uh, this I watched it, I not entered like an A, but uh, this was already have a position. Kami dialysis, I don't have a position and rest are like an A. I might consider a position in this travel port because it looks like a very low risk kind of an entry. So that is how you find uh, opportunities and if you use a combination of 4% dollar breakout and low threshold breakout and bull, bullish and bearish side in antis and additionally anticipation, you should not have a problem of finding setups or buy ideas or buy, uh, uh, sell ideas. Uh, even though the market, people are like too consumed by the market, uh, there are enough opportunities uh, for short term swing trading if you use this kind of an approach. Uh, and uh, this is just a quick video to show you the intraday process. Uh, the actual scans are there in under the learning area or in various videos I have done multiple times. Uh, so you should be able to find them.